Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the stuffed poblano filling, all right? So this dish is vegetarian, there's no meat in it. However, if you wanted to put meat into these stuffed poblanos, you absolutely could. Um, but the Southwest region primarily focuses on a vegetarian diet. So they have a lot of beans in their dishes, squash, corn. Um, this recipe only has beans in it. <clears throat> we could absolutely chop up squash and put that in the filling as well. We could put corn in the filling. Um, whatever you want to add, you can really add whatever you want to the stuffed poblanos. If you looked up recipes, you would find a huge variety of different fillings and whatnot to put in stuffed poblanos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my bowl, all right? And I am using black beans and they are right here. So I, what I did was I just, I bought, you know, a can of black beans, 10 ounces of black beans, which is one can um, from the store. And I drained them and I rinsed them, all right? So this is gonna be like the hearty protein part of our dish. This pretty much re replaces like meat, all right? So this is the beans that I use and I just got them at Amazon. I did not get them seasoned or anything like that because you're just rinsing them off. Now, if you want to put meat in this, you can put chorizo, uh, cooked up chorizo, you can put ground beef, but make sure it's cooked prior, all right? Um, any of those ground turkey, ground chicken, any of those would add. Um, just make sure you obviously either take away the beans or add less beans and do it in the same, like 10 ounces of beans, so maybe you do five ounces of meat, whatever you like, and five ounces of beans, or just 10 ounces of meat, whatever you prefer, all right? So I have the 10 ounces of black beans. To that, I'm also going to be adding a quarter cup of cornmeal. So I am using <clears throat> instant cornmeal, like so. Okay, so I'm just using that. You can use other cornmeal that you get at the store. You just need a quarter cup. This is just gonna, this is not, so this makes it the cornmeal, it has no gluten. So it's still, it's actually gluten-free as well. Because we're not, it's not real flour, it's cornmeal which is ground up from corn. So there are actual corns, corn in this dish, which is a popular item, does not actual whole corns. Um, it's it's dried corn ground up, which is what cornmeal is, all right? So to that, we're also going to add a quarter cup of pepper jack cheese. So if you've never had pepper jack cheese, um, it's hard to find shredded pepper jack, all right? So I just have regular, I bought a block of pepper jack, and what it is, it's Monterey Jack cheese, all right, with jalapenos added. So it has a little flavor, a little kick to it. Um, Monterey Jack cheese is a melting cheese, um, which is why we're using it. If you do not have this at your house, you have a traditional Mexican cheese, you have cheddar cheese, you have mozzarella cheese, any kind of cheese will do. I wouldn't say Parmesan or something like that, just because it's not, it's going to take away the flavor profile that you're trying to create for the Southwest region, all right? So what I did, the recipe calls for a half cup. Um, you're gonna put a, a quarter cup, which is half of it in the filling. The rest we're gonna reserve for the topping, all right? Then as mentioned in the sauce uh, demo, the recipe calls for three um, garlic cloves. Two cloves go in the sauce and one clove gets minced up and goes in the filling, which I have right here. And then, um, as you recall, the sauce demo has, it says you need um, one full onion, small onion. Um, half of it goes in the sauce and the other half gets minced and goes in the filling just for a little bit of flavor. <clears throat> and then for more spices, we're going to be adding a quarter teaspoon of dried cumin. So cumin is actually cilantro dried up and ground. So um a lot of people, I mean, people like cilantro, but some people don't like like the leaf. So that adds a lot of flavor. All right. We're not adding salt and pepper to this because we added salt and pepper to the sauce. So what you're going to do now is we are just going to mix this up. Okay. And it will all kind of come together. All right. Just like so. And then the last thing we're going to add is two tablespoons of water. That actually helps blend it together because it's going to wet our cornmeal. And then that cheese, because the pepper jack, which is Monterey Jack with jalapenos, is like, a, it's like almost like a binding cheese, all right? So it will actually kind of, as you mix it and those beans kind of mash up, it will start cl clumping together. Not primarily like, not like a dough, but it's definitely going to be able to be packed into those poblanos, which is what we want because we're making stuffed poblanos with this filling, all right? Um, so that is some 
Captions, if you don't have black beans and you don't like black beans, or maybe you have kidney beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans, you can substitute the beans totally fine. Um, black beans is very popular in the Southwest, but so are other kinds of beans. So it's totally fine if you want to use a different kind of bean. If you're someone that doesn't really like onion, I would strongly always put it in the sauce because it's going to add flavor, but just keep it out of the filling if you don't, if you really don't like it. All right. Be because it's just going to add a little bit of flavor and dimension. Um, garlic is a must. It adds so much flavor. All right. So we are ready to go. So there is your filling. It is ready for stuffing. You'll see the assembling of the dish in the next step.